Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. The bow is a miraculous instrument that when moved across the strings of a violin produce a most wonderful tone, a most beautiful tone. Who would have thought that the tail of a horse would produce such wonderful sound when combined with the strings of a violin? Here I have two sticks one which is carbon fiber this is this top bow here one which is made of pernambuco wood this this bottom bow here bows may also be made of brazil wood and typically the hairs of a bow are 150 to 200 hairs per bow and may be light or dark depending upon the needs of the musician or the type of instrument used. It is thought that bows originated in Central Asia where their cultures kept horses. Of course, that meant that there was plentiful horse hair. And that is where it is thought that bows originated in Central Asia or the horse keeping cultures. The selection of a bow depends upon what you want, the type of material, weight, balance, sound, and shape. Typically bows are around 60 grams. This is the tip of the bow or the head and down at the bottom is the frog which is this black ebony piece and in the middle there is the eye and of course the button of the bows. 
so uh, there you have it this is the uh, silver embellishment or, or wire winding and that is the bow basically in a nutshell nothing in detail but in a nutshell this is the bow